Hey guys, I am sorry that I haven't posted a video on here in a couple of weeks, but um, I've just been busy with school and just the whole life thing. Um, but this is a legend, or not a legend, a story that I recorded a couple of years ago, but um, I never really edited it that well and um, I just wanted to rework it a little bit and present it to you guys the way that I initially intended to do so um, and yeah um, I hope you enjoy and I will see you all later bye hey guys um, I'm sorry for the mess behind me but I've been in the process of moving so yeah but anyway my urban legend is about the St. Paul's Episcopal Church and the Club Chameleon in Key West Florida um I have this is one of the stories that I found hasn't really been told that often or isn't really all that well known at least to me it doesn't seem that way but St. Paul's Episcopal Church has been rebuilt four times and two times it was destroyed by hurricanes and once by the Great Fire of 1886. And I will post a picture of the church right here as it is now. The current building was built in 1912. There are, with the church, there are several small buildings that are connected together that were built over a several year time span. And there is, and in the back there's a cemetery that's just always been there. It used to be like the island cemetery or something, but, um, Due to like the hurricanes and bodies floating away and such, they relocated a majority of the bodies to the current cemetery which is on a bit of a higher ground and they have a completely different system than they did initially. Except for a couple of the bodies which um, now with the exception of the couple of bodies that are still there there is now a courtyard in the back. You know, before church you can go have a cup of tea or something, so. One of the ghosts that happens to haunt the courtyard is an old sea captain. And he has chased several people out of the courtyard, scaring them and such. One story that I've heard when I went on the original ghost tour in Key West, the original Key West ghost tour, link in the description to their website. The story that I heard from them was there was a homeless man that had been drinking, you know, 300, bar, 300 plus bars in Key West. You're, there's nothing really else to do other than drink. So he was drinking and since, since St. St. Paul's is only about a half a block from Duval Street. He trots on over to the church, climbs the fence, and lays on one of the benches that's like right by the building. And he's sleeping, and he gets aw awakened by someone whispering in his ear, Get out! And he kind of wakes up a little bit thinking, oh, it must be the all the drinks I had, you know, and kind of falls back to sleep a little louder. Get out. And again, he's like, okay, this is creepy, but I'm drunk, so yeah. A third time, a little louder, get out. And at this point, he's like, okay, the hell. 
and not even like a few seconds later, something starts sh shaking him and, ye and yelling at him, get out! And it, he can smell like the booze, like, and like the bad breath, like blowing on his face. And he sees this pi old pirate shaking him. And then the pirate, this ghost picks him up by the, like the back of a shirt basically carries him to the gate and mind you the gate was locked when he walked in there the gates swing open and this ghost basically throws him out of the courtyard and the door the gates close again and lock and a cop walks up doop 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 doo, doo, you know and the cop was like so what were you doing in the courtyard and how'd you get it unlocked kind of thing, you know? And the dude's like, tells him his story. And the cop's like, uh-huh. And just goes about his business. And the homeless man goes back to drinking because of what just happened. So that's one story is of the lovely old sea captain that likes, doesn't like people sleeping in his courtyard. So... Um, and then right next door, like right across the alley, and it, th these two things are like just down the street from the artist house, so, right next door used to be a Baptist church, which was burned down in 1886. It said that the wife of the Reverend of St. Paul's was having an affair with the pastor of the Baptist Church, which is right next door. When the Reverend found out about this, it said that he went mad, and he set the Baptist Church on fire, with with his wife, with the wife still inside, and she happened to be teaching Sunday school at the time with a group of about 17 or so children. Um, and, you know, that's kind of the. And then, many years later, um, Club Chameleon was erected in the place of the Baptist Church. But during one of the renovations, there was so much paranormal activity going on in the building that all the workers just got up and left the building and they refused to step foot in the building again and now the building has been abandoned for several years now there you if you go to go there you can still see all the outdated um permits and all the doors and windows are covered up with sheets um and if you look in one of the windows that isn't covered up at least i don't think it is covered up anymore um, you can see, you can see a bunch of the, um, like the equipment and the tools and such still lying in there as if everybody, everybody just stood up and left. I mean, they're, like, when I went, when I saw it and looked in the window, you could still see, like, a couple, few cups, like somebody went to the grocery store, grabbed a soda, brought it over to work, you know? I saw a couple of cups just laying around, you know. A couple of the, I mean, when people go there, you can see children running around, playing. Um, I heard one person say that they heard a piano playing. Um, one of the stories that I was told about the club, about the club chameleon was that there was it was on a tu on a tour that somebody was doing with the original ghost tour and there was a man like in the back of the group standing by the doors leaning against the doors he pulls out a pack of cigarettes lights one and he takes a drag and he could he could hear a faint group of kids 
he could hear a group of kids like faintly from what sounded like within the building he could hear screaming but it was really faint like it could be like behind the building or kind of off in the distance he could hear a group of of kids screaming as he was taking the first hit and then with each hit it became the screams became louder and louder and louder and as the screams were becoming louder now this is Key West. Key West is hot as hell so I mean as the screams were getting louder it was getting colder and colder and colder and at a certain point he just bolted across the street and he's just the tour guide said that this guy was pale as can like pale as can be I mean if you think I'm pale like white like sheet white and the guy just left after like after that incident and most of the tour guides with this company do not stop at the club chameleon anymore because of of so many stories like this that have happened and um yeah some people say that it's one of the most haunted structures on the island i don't know if that's true or not but when i went there um if you if you put your ear up to the to the doors and you tap on the door you can hear a little you, supposedly you can hear at like child level like seven eight years old you can hear the children tapping back and sometimes you can see the sheets moving even though there's nobody in the building there's as far as I know there's no way for a draft to get in the building and the curtains will move a little bit while the other group of curtains is perfectly still the one curtain will move you know, stuff like that. Um, but yeah. And anyway, those are my stories of Key West. Unfortunately, I couldn't give you a tour exactly because Key West is like an eight hour drive and I'm not driving eight hours to show you, but I will have put pictures throughout this and yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you all later. Bye.